Hello, welcome to our section. In this section, we will talk about what is a finite state machine. In this section, we will talk about what is a finite state machine, how to implement it, state machines for game agent development, and applying state machines basis to a Pac-Man like game. So, what's a state machine? In this video, we will talk about what's a state machine, how to use state machines, and advantages and disadvantages of state machines. Finite state machine is a computation model used to simulate sequential logic. A state machine has a finite number of states it can be in at any given time, make transitions from one to another, and can operate. To apply this idea to gay AI development, we decompose our agents' behaviors into easily manageable states and construct a state machine based on transition rules. There is one simple rule though. The state machine can only be in one state at any moment. Let's consider a simple, well-known example to understand better. Pac-Man example. Each ghost has two states, chase and evade. Ghosts are always in chase state, unless the user gets a power pill. Then all the ghosts go into evade state until the power pill time ends. Now a more complex example. A first-person shooter bot. The default state is wonder. When the player is nearby, the bot goes to the attack state. Depending on the condition, it transits between wonder, attack, and evade states. If the health is low, it goes to find aid state. So what are the advantages of the state machine-based AI? It's easy to implement, easy to debug since behaviors are broken down into small chunks. It has a little computational overhead since state machines follow hard-coded rules. It can base more complex behaviors or structures such as fuzzy logic and neural networks. And the disadvantages are no real thinking involved, since the agent can be in only one state at any moment, complex behaviors require more states or hierarchies. 